All right, this quick video is going to go through some lexical semantic relations. That's relationships between the meanings of words. And we're going to uh, illustrate this with the word white. What relations does it have to different words? First of all, we can have a synonym like snowy. In certain contexts, at least, the word snowy is the same as the word white. That horse has a snowy mane means that horse has a white name. Uh, of course, it doesn't always mean the same thing. Uh, an egg white isn't the same as snowy weather. That's uh, different, but at least in some circumstances, these two words are synonyms. On the other hand, we can have antonyms. So the word black is an antonym of the word white. Notice that although they're opposites, there can be other colors, in this case, in between different shades of gray, right? So that means that these are graded antonyms as opposed to absolute antonyms like uh, true-false or pass-fail where there really isn't a space in between uh, in the meaning. So another relationship we have is um, polysemy. Now this isn't a relationship between words, this is a property of one word. The word white can be just a color or it can refer to the white part of an egg. You know, you beat the whites before you add the other ingredients, for example. Uh, so that's one word having multiple meanings that are connected, right? The egg white is called a white because of its color. The connection is fairly straightforward. Uh, another relationship that words can have is that their meanings aren't actually connected at all, but they're pronounced the same. So homophones, white the color and white the uh, spectral entity, the ghost, right? Uh, pronounced the same but completely separate words. So this is contrasted with polysemy where they're pronounced and in this case spelled the same but uh, and have related meanings. Okay, homophones are sometimes spelled the same uh, but sometimes not like in this case. The next relationship we have a word like color which is a hypernym of white. White is a kind of color. So color is this large category, white is a subset. So white is a hyponym, hypo meaning small, hyper meaning large, uh, the larger category color, the category within it, white. And the last relationship we're going to look at is holonym. So looking at the egg white meaning of white, egg is the whole thing and white is part of it. So white is a meronym, egg is a holonym. So this is different from hypernyms and hyponyms, where you have a, a type or a kind of relationship. White is a kind of color, but it's not part of color. But the white, it's not a kind of egg, it's part of the egg. Right? So those are our six relationships that we cover here. Synonyms, antonyms, both graded and absolute, uh, polysemy, homophones, hypernym-hyponym relationships, and holonym-meronym relationships. That is lexical semantic relations.